I will explain today's meditation. It is about bringing more fire into the spine. And this has to do with how we breathe and how we chant. So what the yogis suggest, suggest is repeating the mantra Har Hare Hari Wahe Guru. And this is to stimulate the tongue and the upper palate. So, and to create cycles of breath as well. So when we do this, and so do, we do not forget the rhythm, we will support our breath on the mantra and we will bring both hands on a fist and the index fingers are up. So what we will do is Har Hare Hari Wahe Guru. And every time we do this, we will pump the navel. So Har Hare Hari Wahe Guru. Har Hare Hari Wahe Guru. With your eyes closed. So let's do this. Relax your belly and tuck your, your pelvic floor. Inhale, exhale, shoulders are relaxed, and let's start. Har Hare Hari Wahe Guru 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 Inhale Hold the breath in Exhale, relax your arms, relax your breath. Now opening the eyes and making circles with your eyes open. This is a great way to come back when we feel out there and we want to really be in the present and root and ground ourselves. Making circles with the eyes is a great practice and making them to both sides, both directions. Thinking is also a great way to ground our energy to here and now.
with this beautiful energy that we created today. We will close our practice, bringing our thumbs together in front of our heart center, reminding our bodies that everything we're feeling right now can be created anytime. And that every tool lives within us. Let's close the practice with a sat nam, connecting with our true self, with our inner truth. Inhale. Sat nam. Thank you and this meditation that we just did, it can be done for 3 minutes, 11 minutes, or 31 minutes. So it was just an intro. You can do it by itself. What matters the most is the breath and the mantra, chanting it out loud because of the vibrations of the voice and the breath patterns.